clear. Delighted to say a very good afternoon to champion jockey Asheen Murphy. Asheen, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Nick. Uh, you've got a, well, I don't know whether you've got a spring in your step, but your voice certainly sounds as though you have. Yeah, absolutely. I'm thrilled racing's been given the green light. We've been watching France, Hong Kong, Japan, Australia um, continue behind closed doors and obviously under strict protocols. But it's fantastic. We've been given the go-ahead to replica that in Britain. Uh, you've been very busy and active with your with your media commitments, which has been fantastic the last few weeks. How have you been? How have you been feeling in yourself? Oh, the first few weeks I felt sorry for myself. I'm not used to not having a focus, but then I realised that everyone's in the same boat and uh, get up and do something about it. So my girlfriend has show jumpers. Uh, I've been riding them, or, or well, to tell the truth, I've been mucking them out and tacking them up uh, <laughs> as her groom. So that's kept me occupied, and I've, I've done a fair bit of walking and cooking and that sort of thing. You were giving yourself quite a hard time when last we spoke about about fitness, saying that you, you hadn't really been someone to do an awful lot of fitness outside the saddle before the lockdown came. But that's all changed, hasn't it? Yeah, out of pure boredom. And the fact is, no matter how healthy I eat, um, I'm, I'm used to being 100 miles an hour the whole time. So I was trying to put on weight. Uh, so in order to keep it in check, I, I had to get up off my bum and go running and go walking. One thing I wanted to ask you is, you're, you're now going to have to become accustomed to nine ten race cards now it happens all across the world but your nine ten race cards will be at all points of the country how do you think you'll find that uh i'm looking forward to it nick i, I actually rode 24 races in a weekend in japan once uh, <laughs> and you know you travel from right to kyoto side on a break train which takes two and a half hours um i know you're only riding two days a week but um but i'm going to relish the opportunity I, i've got a driver i've got the best people to help me so um, I, I'm, I, I'm in a good position. How much riding out have you been able to do across the country in the, in the off time? Realistically, uh, in April, not a whole part. Um, you know, yards weren't allowing people in and out. Uh, I managed to go into Rafe Beckett a few times because he's completely self-contained down there. And, uh, and that was great. But as, as things have eased, um, I've got around everywhere. Uh, and it's been super to sit on some nice horses. And just in terms of what you're going to have to do when you get to the race course, I know everybody's very familiar with it now. Do you think it will be relatively straightforward? Are you happy and, and confident in exactly what your responsibilities are? Yes, I am. There's been videos sent to us via WhatsApp daily from the PGA. We've had loads of forms fill out. It's been um, hard work and sitting through all the relevant information. Yeah, we've got to... Stand all the hard just got a slightly dodgy connection you were sounding crystal clear there Rasheen and you've just you've just dropped out on us a little bit a, a lot in fact we'll try we'll try and get a sheen back but Richard is uh, is listening in he sounds very chipper Richard as you as you might imagine and and no no problem with 10 races a day but th that's the that's the exuberance and anticipation of a, a young and hungry champion jockey Yes, and I think everyone will share that, particularly with the tra without the travel, which is the key, the key point um, in terms of the difficulties getting about. Um, just one point on the, on the races. It's been raised a couple of times about the relaxation of uh, maximums, but that's not going to have any impact for the majority of courses because they don't have enough stables. So it doesn't matter whether you have 10, 12, you know, 10, 12 runner cards or 8, 14 runner cards. It equates to the same number of runners because you're, you're restricted from... Unless, the, unless that rule changes, mm. the constraint is the number of stables on the course. For example, Newmarket on the racing admin site only actually have 100 stables allocated. Whether that means they're actually prevented from using stables they could usually or whether courses aren't being able to be taken directly to the course. But, uh, for example, Newcastle 124, for example. So that's the constraint. It doesn't matter if you, you can ease limits, but if they're all filling, then there will be no more runners than there would be if you had eight races at 16. Versus um, ten of thirteen, if that makes sense. Yes, it makes it makes perfect sense. I think that's something people have to bear in mind as the situation evolves. I'm very pleased to say that Ashin is back. Uh, Ashin, I wanted to obviously talk about uh, Cameco. We talked to David Redvers earlier on. Nothing you've said could put anybody off backing this horse next weekend. Um, how how special do you think he could be? He's working very well. Uh, we don't do silly things at home, but everything he's been asked to do, he's. Uh, 
particularly in the last couple of weeks, he's done, um, you know, very, very well. So uh, he's in great shape and, uh, and we're all looking forward to it. And I, I heard you say earlier in the week that you had no issues with him on, on the surface at Newmarket, on, on fast ground. Looking at his action, he, he doesn't look as though he's going to want it too soft. Absolutely. He's bred to go on fast turf. Uh, Kid and Joy is a prolific sire of turf horses, not only Rowan Lyme, but the likes of Hawk Bill, uh, Bobby's Kitten. So um, I, I'm very happy that he's going to handle the track in the market. Is he anything like Roaring Lion to ride? I mean, David Redwoods was drawing some comparisons earlier in the programme. He's a smaller model. Uh, he's quite speedy. Uh, he relaxes very well, which w would be a comparison. And he eats and sleeps all day long. So uh, you can certainly draw those two comparisons. And Andrew Balding has had loads of success, but he's not, you know him very well. Uh, am I wrong in thinking he's not someone who really plays big shots about his horses unless he really thinks he's got something good on his hands? You know, he'd be, he'd be a pretty measured guy, quite even, even tempered. Absolutely. He rarely gets it wrong when he thinks a horse is out of the ordinary. And uh, he's been very keen on Cameco since he was. Uh, I suppose early in his two-year-old career. So I'm pleased to see um, that opinion has been justified. And these two-year-olds that Sheikh Farhad has gotten, and David was saying earlier in the programme that there are plenty of them who've got a ticket to escape the ballot during the next week or so. Which one excites you the most? Um, there's a charm spirit at Hugo Palmer's that's very nice, uh, called Lockdown. He has done what he's been asked of without, you know, in crazy work yet, but he, he seems pretty good. And uh, actually, Watson has a few that are ready to rock and roll as well. So uh, I suppose lots of those type of horses are uh, bred to, to run later on, so they won't be rushed. Um, uh, many are, are blue-blooded animals by top size, and they may end up going a mile or a mile and a quarter at three. So um, we don't have many speedy rocket things to, that are going to be burning up uh, the racetrack in June and July. But as, as we progress, there's some lovely ones. And Mill Isle's a great ride to pick up in the 1,000 guineas for Jessica Harrington as well. The, the strength that she has this year, if you can, if you can get on a few of her horses, you'll be, you'll be winning a couple more classics, I'd say. She has an incredible record uh, over the last few seasons, particularly with Trillies. Um, last year was just outstanding. I think she had three top class kind of group one performing Trillies. And as we all know, Alpha Centauri um, was a European champion Philly. So uh, it's brilliant. She's given me the call up to ride. Um, I'm super thrilled to, to be given that opportunity. Now, you're, you're going to achieve a rare double this week, Asheen, as... Um as you're going to be the only person to have been on luck on Sunday twice because yeah, you, yeah. You, you ride the filly of the same name tomorrow at, uh, at Newcastle for, for the same connections that you, you won the, the Queen Mary on a couple of years ago. Yeah, she's a full sister to Alice Springs. She was a two million euros Goffs purchase. Uh, she's bred to be very good. I suppose it's great she can step out onto the track tomorrow. Uh, it's very hard to get into these novices at the moment. And uh, it'll be very much about the future, but uh, you know, I haven't spoken to John or, or any of the connections yet. Uh, but I'd imagine uh, the, the primary thing would to be to, to, to be trying to win at some stage, um, you know, in the, in the coming months. Yeah, no pressure at all. Um, <laughs> just the two million euros. Uh, Asheen, thanks so much. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to hopefully seeing you at some point in the next uh, in the next few days, albeit obviously. At a, at a respectful distance, I'll be the guy in the mask. Thanks very much, Nick. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Asheen. Asheen Murphy, who's got uh, some very important assignments.